Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be talking about one particular ceramic and that is a small saucer that dates to around 1740. It was produced at Meissen and it's decorated in the chinoiserie style. Now for instance its formation really in around 1710 with the production of hard paste porcelain, Meissen decorated their uh, ceramics in a number of styles, but one of the first styles was the influence of the chinoiserie style. What do we mean by chinoiserie? Well, really, it is the effect of the vision or the idea of the Orient on Western decoration, be it art, ceramics, textiles, silverware, etc., furniture, any of the above, plus others. So this is a particular take on chinoiserie on at Meissen that was introduced by one of their massive stars, really, of his time, someone known as uh, Joanne Gregor Herald. Now, he came to Meissen in approximately 1720, and by 1723, he was court painter to Augustus the Strong, you know, the really big promoter and patron of Meissen porcelain. We can see here that it is a Western take on what was considered to be Oriental. Uh, the figures aren't right, they're quite whimsical, they're quite comical, uh, as are the rituals of tea drinking, etc. There are bizarre creatures in the sky in a lot of the uh, chinoiserie of this early Meissen. But what I'm about to show you is my own personal one. Uh, that we would call chinoiserie. And there you can see straight away you've got two individuals. The one on the left has got a stick with insects keeping the mosquitoes and the bugs away from the tea. And the one on the right is actually making the tea. You've got a lovely palm tree over to the left. And then you've got this decoration around the outside, including what we known as what's known as botka luster. You've got purple and you've got red feathers and you've got this lovely gilding around the outside. So I'll go in a little bit closer once again so you can have a look at these rather uh, lovely, but as I say, not particularly representative depiction of uh, Chinaman. I'm just going to tell you a little bit more or rather read a description of the type of style of Harold because he was developing an increasingly distinctive style in the 1720s. He became adept at painting whimsical, jewel-like chinoiseries, framed within these elaborately shaped cartouches. There are strange landscapes dotted with pagodas and bizarre vegetation, in which collio-hatted, mustachioed Chinese, clad in rich, brocaded robes, smoke and drink tea, dance or grow rice. The skies in these imaginary visions of the Orient are speckled with giant mosquito-like insects or fluttering uh, swallows and their gilded frames would draw the spectator's eye uh, out towards the magical contents of these particular scenes. So beautiful and if I turn it over we can see of course the cross swords of Meissen, the number 29, which is the Gilder's Mark, plus you've got these lovely flowers around the outside as well, which are very much derived from Oriental examples. Now, a lot of the designs, the drawings of Herald were put together in, as I think I've already mentioned, the Schlotz Codex. Uh, and I've got an example here, it's a later uh, reproduction but it does show you uh, some of the examples of the types of drawings he he was creating it's a rather big beast as you can see here but it does give you the type of idea of what was going on in the drawings and there are some on the back as you can see we've got these individuals here bottom left for instance taking tea making tea keeping away there we go, the uh, insects, and then up up at the top, we've got similar ones, making tea, etc, etc. I'll try to show you some examples inside of this, uh, this book. As I say, it's a bit of a beast, so I'll get up and try and show you as close as possible some of the drawings. 
and these were the type of drawings that would be recreated on mice and porcelain there you go and then at the back of the book we have got some examples of the porcelain itself and how they were recreated these scenes onto the porcelain and there's some more there absolutely beautiful as you can see and as I say mammoth book as well now I can probably show you a few more examples on my iPad of what we're just seeing up close some seated figures here in particular and there's some more there etc etc so that's the video today I'll just show you one more time the saucer to remind you absolutely beautifully painted thank you for listening bye bye